Hi teachers, if you're going to be demonstrating some slides or running a slideshow during an online lesson, here are just a couple of tips on how to actually start the slideshow and a slightly different way of presenting it as well. So first, the easiest way is just to press the F5 key on your keyboard, the function 5 key. So you press F5 and then the slideshow begins. That's the easiest way. If you have difficulties with the F5 key, because sometimes the laptop keyboards have a function button and then the F5, so FN, F5, and that can be a little bit frustrating. So if you do battle with that, then plan B is to go down to the bottom right hand side of your screen and you will see that there is a very special icon, which is a slideshow button. So you click on that button and your slideshow will then begin. So that's the second way that you can do this. A third way, if you've forgotten about this little button down at the bottom here, is you go click on Slideshow and go to the very first button here which says From the Beginning. Play the slideshow from the beginning. You click on that and your slideshow then begins. So that's the third way. If you would like to have access to your toolbar, sorry, your taskbar, the Windows 10 taskbar at the bottom of your screen, then what you can do is you can switch to what's called Reading View. Switching to Reading View will run your slideshow in full screen, but it's windowed and you have access to your taskbar underneath. Okay, not on my screen because it's cropped out, but you will see when you run it, it'll be underneath. And you can then move through your slides. You can click and move through as you would with a normal slideshow and you'd have no problems with that whatsoever. So that's the reading mode. So there's at least four different ways of running your slideshow. I hope that helps. One more quick tip, if you are in a presentation and you would like to perhaps highlight or point out something on the slide and you've got your mouse button, your mouse that will automatically come up when you move, but if you right click on the slide, okay, and you go to pointer options, you've got a laser pointer, a pen and a highlighter. You can also then change the ink color and select what arrow options you'd like to have. So for example, if I go to the pen and I want to say, okay, we're going to, we're going to look at this option now, you see that I can actually then draw around that or I can talk about the fact that it's data, not information. For example, so that's the pen. So you right click and you go to pointer options. There's also a laser pointer, which you can use instead of the mouse just to draw people's attention to things. And then of course there's the highlighter, which then allows you to highlight specific things. Okay, and those are also some nice annotation tools that you can use in a presentation.